because people see right through that. They know you don't have a buyer in your pocket waiting to see their house. Never say that. Another reason why you're losing. So, so what's up, man? You're having like 50 conversations a day and not getting any emails? Yeah, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not grabbing the emails, uh, but I, I don't know why. I guess I haven't, I, I didn't really, uh, you know, I don't know why I haven't been grabbing them, honestly. Uh, I mean, are you, are you, are you asking for them? No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not asking, not on the majority of my calls. Yet. Okay, okay, then let me, let me just ask the question. Why aren't you? Um, well, primarily, I guess, because you know, I'm, I'm following up via phone. Um, I guess uh, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's one of the ways I was uh, following up with the, with the leads and stuff that I got. But I guess, I guess that's, that's the reason, you know, which isn't really like a, a good reason or anything like that. But I guess I, from my perspective, it's like, uh, I guess I'll just call them in instead of like uh, knowing, you know, you call them and then they email you? No, no, no. Well, you know, I, I'll, I'll call for like, uh, I'll just use the call and like the phone uh, to follow up, you know. And, and, uh, okay. Like, you know, like, yeah. So, but, you know, so they, so they're, where are you getting these leads? Who are they? Who are you calling? Um, you know, I have uh, a Red X, a little Red X account. So uh, they're like expires and uh, dispos. And okay. I also do a, Circle plastic too. All right. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So, so again, okay. Let's role play real quick. You ready? Who do you? What do you want to do? Circle expired or for sale by owner? Uh, we can do expired. Okay. I'm gonna expire. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, Ricky. Yeah. Hey, Ricky. This is Patrick over with Keller Williams. How's it going today? Good. Yeah, you know, I, I don't uh, want to take up too much of your time today, Ricky, but uh, I saw that your home was listed for sale. Uh, are you currently still selling it? Um, maybe. Okay, I understand. So, Ricky, you know, why, why do you think it uh, didn't sell? Um, you know, I don't know, to be honest with you. I said I'm not sure if I want to sell it. Okay, okay. Well, you know, Ricky, I, I definitely may have a buyer for this property. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, uh, you know, that I, I, I uh, need to come see the house before I go pretty much any any further with uh, my client. Okay. Uh, are you guys Are you guys available uh, usually in, in the afternoons or uh, evenings? Yeah. Okay. Let me break down all of your problems right quick. Okay. Number one, everything is focused around a an appointment. Okay? Everything is focused around an appointment. There's nothing in there that says, I care about you. I want to know what's going on with you. It's only about the house and how can I see it. That's, back, that's backwards from what I teach, which is, A, after you say how you're doing, I like to talk about the weather. That opens them up and starts a real conversation that's not, that's not so salesy. So you're not using that right there. That's that's a mistake. Number two, when you dive into why it hasn't sold and everything like that, you need to ask them why they're selling. This is gonna help you connect with them. That's what you want is the connection. From there, an appointment might be the best thing, might not be the best thing. But when all you're focused on is the appointment, the appointment, the appointment, you're not gonna you're not gonna get deals because people see right through that. They know you don't have a buyer in your pocket waiting to see their house. Never say that. Another reason why you're losing. And also, when you're talking to your mom or dad, you need to figure, you need to take a second while you're talking to them and take note of that mindset that you're in when you're talking to your mom or dad or brother or cousin. How comfortable you are, the language, the 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 tone, the speed, the calmness. And that's what you need to bring with you when you're talking to your prospects. I know role playing is a spur of the moment, 
awkward situation anyway. So I know what you just did with me is not exactly how you do it in real life. I understand, okay? But at the same time, it kind of, it was really dry. It was really scripty. It was like, okay, Ricky, well, what about this? Well, what about that? And I'm thinking, you sound like every other agent. Certainly not trying to make me feel comfortable or figure out what's best for me. You're just trying to get a deal. You feel me? Right, absolutely. absolutely. And this is why you're losing. Okay. So, like, can, like uh, work, work on connecting more on the calls? Like, Listen, the biggest, the, I don't know if you watched my video of, of the, yeah. the two questions you asked buyers and sellers. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so the question, the first question is what? See, this, this is where you have to really dive deep into my content, man, because this is real stuff that I'm sharing with everybody. It's real stuff that really works. The first question is, is there an agent that you're gonna work with? You, this person, you don't know if this person's mom was the agent that had it listed before or if they have a really good relationship and they're just taking it off temporarily. If they are, there's no need in going any further. I mean, yeah. that, that's a crucial question to see where you stand in the pecking order of a possible relationship with this prospect to do this deal. The second question is, so like, what, huh? So like if they say uh, they have a, um, like a, you know, they're working with a real estate agent that, I guess, like you said, they have a really good uh, connection with and a really good relationship, you should probably, you, should, you shouldn't probably, uh, you know, fight too hard for that one or anything. Or, or you know, like, I'm not going to say fight too hard for it or anything, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't expect a lot from that, uh, you know, prospect. If, if they have someone already that they're working with and you know that they have a good relationship with. Listen, you can fill them out and see if there's still if the door is still somewhat open for you. That's per deal basis. You have to go with how you feel, but it's okay to walk away cuz guess what? Business is unlimited. Right. You can just go get five more. You don't have to you don't have to try to convert every deal. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Work with the people that want to work with you. Don't force it. You know, don't feel like you have to do some slick salesman stuff and cut the other agent out of the deal on every single deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Understand how unlimited it really is and then take advantage of that through not caring if people do deals with you or not and through not caring is going to show them how much you don't care and how much that they should do a deal with you. And then you're just going to start getting showered with deals. Exactly. When you're talking to your friends, you know, your best friend, your mom, your dad, your sister, whatever, when you're talking to them next time, call them right after this call and and just have a normal conversation. How are you doing? How's the day? Whatever you talk about and pay attention to the words you're saying, how you're saying them, how calm you are, how comfortable you are, how comfortable they are with you. And that's what you have to imitate and you want to get into that same exact mindset when you're talking to these prospects. It's like calling your best friend and saying, hey, how you doing? Yeah, man, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous out there? Cool. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner just sold. I saw yours expired and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. You know, do you still want to sell it? Why do you think it didn't sell? Why do you want to sell? Cool. Is there an agent that you're going to work with if you relist it or anything or Okay, cool. Well, look, man, I'd love to work with you. When can I come see the house? Or I'd love to work with you. You know, is it okay if I stay in touch with your email or whatever? At the end of the day, man, are you doing weekly emails? Yeah, well, you know, I, it's a yes or no, man. It's a yes or no. No, I, no I'm not. Big mistake. Big, big, huge, huge. You're not doing any zero to diamond stuff. You're not, you're not doing any of the philosophy behind the script and how to connect with people, and you're not going after email addresses, and you're not doing the weekly email, and you're struggling. Right. 
So why don't you dive deep into my content? Like, why don't you watch the videos when they come out every morning and listen to the podcast and get these incredible nuggets that I'm laying out there for you for free and use them in your business to, to, to absolutely turn this entire thing around, dude. You're not taking advantage of my free coaching. It's right there. And it's, 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 it's the holy grail of real estate sales 101 in today's world. I do, uh, I do get the weekly emails. Um, do you mean like, yeah, where, where could, uh, as far as like the weekly email for like a follow up, is, is that on the? It's uh, in the course, dude. There's a lesson in the course. Ricky's weekly email. There's a video tutorial. There's an e- there's a an example of my email. There's a link to Constant Contact where you can start a free trial with them, which is the company I use to do mine. And it's all right there. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out as soon as we get off the call. I'm actually on the computer right now. So. Okay. All right, dude. Well, look, I got to roll because I'm actually working on my weekly email. But uh, um, dive into it, man. And I'm telling you, get into the mindset, man. It's all mindset stuff that's hurting you right now, and it's the way that you're approaching these prospects. It's not, dude. Calling 700 people and talking to 50 is incredible numbers. Now, if you will just learn that the way you've been doing it is exactly backwards from the way that you need to do it moving forward and make those adjustments, you're going to start killing it because you're making the calls, you're doing the volume. Now you just need to refine your approach. Right, right. Got it? Right. I, I definitely got it. Definitely All right. Got it. Thanks for my reading. Yep. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Later, buddy.